Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I and I am her and you have arrived to Nistas Nation. And over here we do mainly things fragrances, whether it is body or home. And today, you guys, we are here to talk about fragrances, you guys. And I want to talk about a particular type of fragrance. Um, so please stay tuned. All right, so the type of fragrance that's up for discussion today, you guys, is coffee. Coffee fragrances. So these are like must-have coffee fragrances that I have. I don't have them all, but that I would recommend that you try out to possibly add to your collection. So these are some of my top coffee fragrances. Now, they're not limited to because I have smelled other ones, but these were like the ones that I felt were the best, okay? All right, so let's just get started. All right, so the first fragrance, you know, there's no fragrance review discussion without bun number nine. You know, they're always the honorary guests, always. All right, so the first fragrance, you guys, and um, this fragrance, I've had it, oh, I think I've had it. I think I got it when it came out. I did. I've had it since 2018. Um, and this is New Bun Street, all right? So the bottle is beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous you guys the red leopard and you know it's like the star shaped bottle the signature type bottle for bun number nine and this fragrance it doesn't get a lot of talk and normally when it is spoken of it's very mixed emotions about it and most of the commentary is like mm, not for me all right, so this is New Bond Street. New Bond Street was released 2018. New Bond Street is a lactonic, very lactonic. So if you cannot handle the lactonic type of fragrances, this is probably not for you. But if you're like me who wants something edgy and different and you're definitely going to smell different and it's an amber vanilla gourmand type fragrance with a heavy coffee note, you definitely want to try out New Bond Street. So the fragrance notes in New Bond Street are pepper, bergamot, lily of the valley, chestnut, cacao, coffee, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, and leather wood. So this is a very deep fragrance, but it's very sexy in my opinion, very sensual. It is a unisex fragrance. Like I said, it is definitely lactonic. It's almost like you have a spicy chai. Um, it doesn't have tea in it, but it gives you that milky, milkiness. Very milky. It's spicy. You definitely get those chestnuts. You really don't get the coffee fragrance until it kind of wears down until the fragrance dries down into the skin and it mixed with the chemistry but this is a very unique fragrance i do think that it is one of those balanced fragrance you know where i say there's equilibrium here i don't think that it's no more for a woman than i think it is for a man and vice versa so this is definitely one of those fragrances i am very happy no matter what the people say that i do have this fragrance in my collection I have tried to wear this fragrance on extremely warm nights, but this is not that type of fragrance. This is definitely a fall, winter type fragrance. And also what I like about this fragrance, you can make it go in the direction that you would li like it to go. If you want it to have more of a nutty, almondy twist, you can send it there with your basers, with your body care. If you want it to have a more sweet vanilla twist to it, same thing layer it with the vanilla and if you wanted to have this like chocolatey fragrance to it and i know chocolate body care is not easy to find 
Um, my toots gifted me some and um, she went to this event in Jacksonville and they had a lot of vendors there. So she brought this chocolate and I'll show it to you guys this chocolate body care back to me, but you can even send it in that cocoa chocolate um, direction if you want. So there's a lot of versatility in this particular bun number nine, although it's not a fan favorite, but it is really good. So this is New Bun Street by bun number nine. All right, the next fragrance is something that you should be able to find now if they have not sold out of it. But this right here, <laughs> as some of the people say, chef's kiss. But the next fragrance is coffee and whiskey. Mm, this and the candle smells just alike. I am so serious about coffee and whiskey. I have a whole crate of these. I did not get any of the body care. I did buy the fine freight, well, the, the deodorizing spray for my husband. Um, before I bought the cologne, he didn't complain or say anything about the fr the spray. So I ended up buying the cologne with hopes that he liked it. But once I bought the cologne, he was like, you shouldn't have bought this because I don't really like that spray. So I took it off his hands. This is so good, you guys. This is good. And this pairs well with caramel notes. Also chocolate notes. Pairs really well. And the fragrance notes are... Coffee and Whiskey, and this fragrance was released in 2022. It was just recently released. Like I said, you can find this at Bath & Body Works. I think it's either 50% off, 60% off. It's at a discounted rate because at the time, it wasn't even SAS, and I did get this for 50% off. And this has gotten a lot of um, commentary in the fragrance community. A lot of guys and some females had some really good things to say about coffee and whiskey. So this is a must have coffee fragrance. All right, so the next one, the next one, I do not have a full bottle of it, but I have sampled this in my Boho, Boho Boco fragrance sampling. If you have not checked out that video if you would click the card you can check it out but i did a whole discovery set sampling and this is the coffee white flowers boho boco perfumes i don't know why i'm just hearing about this in 2022 and this was released these fragrances were released in 2016 never heard anything about them and this is an amber floral fragrance it is unisex the fragrance notes are chocolate cinnamon cloves coffee cacao white flowers vanilla rum and leather this fragrance you guys it is so pretty and just re oh this is so good mm. omg this is so good Mm, mm, mm. This is so good till it smells consumable. The only thing that kind of throws you off is that you can smell those white flowers. It's a floral coffee. Mm, you get that clove, the spiciness from the clove. You get that leather and you get the rum. This is a good fragrance. I do want to add a full bottle to my collection. It is very much worth having. But I was on Instagram and I was just doing some research on some different fragrances and there is a YSL fragrance. I don't know if it's new, if it's coming out, but I'll leave a clipping of it to the side, but it's one of the um, opium fragrances and it has the same or similar fragrance notes. It has that um, those white florals as well as that coffee. This is so good. This is good. So this is Boho Boco White Flowers Coffee Coffee White Flowers. That's what it's called. Coffee White Flowers. So, and that's also a picture of how the bottle looks. Very good. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So the next one is a fragrance by Tiziana Terenzi. This was in my fragrance haul my last fragrance haul of 2022 i got this back in first of november i think 
but it's really good. Um, it took me some time getting around to it because this is definitely one of those coffee fragrances like um, the New Bond Street that it's only wearable for me in the cooler months. So it comes in the beautiful Tiziana Terenzi packaging, as you can see. Very chic black and gold. So this is the Deluxe and it was released in 2017. It is a unisex fragrance. It is a floral woody musky fragrance. The fragrance notes are coffee, white, hythensa, um, and I'm not saying that right, but it is a green aquatic sweet spicy type of um, flower. Iris, Turkish rose, vanilla, opopionox, and this is supposed to be like a sweet myrrh. And you know, myrrh is very like woody and rustic, that rustic like fragrance. Um, vanilla and honey, but it does have like a sweetness to it, but it does have that woody ruskiness to it. It has honey in it, it has white musk and amber as well as cedar. So this is Deluxe. This is perfect for cold weather. Perfect. Very good. Really, really good. I don't even have to use the little sniffer being that these are coffee fragrances. This is so pretty. This is just grown lady. The floral in here, it's the Turkish rose. Turkish rose is going to stand out no matter what you mix it with and where you put it. But this goes so good. The thing that I like about this fragrance is what I like about it. I'm not getting that now, of course, off this cardboard. And because it's within moments of it being sprayed. But it's how this fragrance transition and what it develops into on my um, body. It's like, if this makes sense, it develops into this sweet florally Turkish rose with an undertone of coffee. Mm, mm, mm. And you can get that musk. And I think that sweetness combined with that honey, the sweetness from the Turkish rose combined with that honey, it just goes together so well. Beautiful. Very beautiful. This is just, that's my pretty auntie. That's my auntie that lived up north. My auntie who always had the um, good jobs. My auntie who would come home when it was cold and have her mean coat. You know, back then in the 90s, your auntie wore mean coats. It, was, it, it just gives me that type of vibe. And it's like when she leaves out of the room, you can still smell her. This is what the Deluxe by Tiziana Tarenta gives. This is so good. So don't forget this transition and transform. And I'm sure it has its own unique transition on everyone's body. But that's what I like so much about this. How, the, how it develops. And whenever a fragrance like... I notice how it develops on my skin and I notice it's like it's different from when I first sprayed it. It's different than three hours ago. That's a good fragrance. So again, Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. All right. And the last one. <laughs> of course, New York Night. All right, so this is New York Nights, and it's funny that I'm talking about the both of these because I remember when this was gifted to me. This was gifted to me first. Husband brought bought this one home first, and I'm like, I don't know if I really like that. So I went back to the store, and I decided to pick this one. So it's funny how your nose palette changes, and it just evolves, you know. Um, so now this is New York Nights. All right, so this is an Amber Vanilla Gourmand fragrance. Really good, very unique. This is a serious gourmand fragrance. And I mean, this is the gourmand that it really makes you think about some type of rich Danish. So the fragrance notes are Gardenia, Carnation, Jasmine. Very floral, very floral forward, as you can hear. Then um, they have patchouli, 
flowers, sandalwood, caramel, and coffee. Now, I heard someone say this. I want to say it was Aisha. Shout out to Simply Aisha. I heard her say that you get like this banana nut bread vibe when you smell this when she featured this on her channel and I think I had already had it in my collection but I knew that it was something very unique about it and when I went from watching the video and I did a respray and I was like you know she is absolutely correct she is right this has a like banana nut wa walnut some type of Danish or pastry it really does if you think about it and I'm gonna tell you what really just kind of like validated that I was burning I was wearing this fragrance and I was burning the banana nut muffin the candle that came out for candle day I'm gonna try to put a side by side because I did do a side by side and I shared it on my insta post it does give you that vibe and I'm telling you my bedroom was a whole vibe it was just so good. This is a good cuddle fragrance to you guys. And it is husband approved. He really, really likes this. He even likes this for himself. So this is definitely unisex for it is so good. I do think that it is a great blender. It will blend well with anything that's vanilla or caramel. This is really good. Mmm, New York Nights. Very different. Very unique. It's in a class of its own. But the gourmandness that you get from it. And I know a lot of times when we think and speak of gourmand, as for me, um, coming from a world of mainly niche, mainly bun number nine, when I want some, in the past when I would want some to be more gourmand, edgy, or foodie, like I would definitely have to put on an undertone, you know, like my body care to kind of like amp that up or give me that feel. But for bun to do something different from what I was used to, you know, when I first started wearing it and it gives you that serious gourmand edge. I really appreciated that. So New York nights, it's another good one. And you definitely get that coffee note in it. Although it does smell like that banana nut muffin, but it's almost like you're sitting in some type of, um, crumpets and tea little shop on the corner. That's the vibe it gives me. And um, it's just, it's nice. Really, really like it. So you guys, these are my top coffee fragrance. Um, if you would, please leave below any of your top coffee fragrance. Or um, if you have any comments about the fragrances that I've shared with you. Or if you've experienced them, um, just leave those comments below. So I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.